안녕하십니까? Hello everyone. 어, 우리가 마가 복음을 읽으면서 As you read the Gospel of Mark. 아, 어떻게 이런 글을 쓰셨을까? How was Mark able to write this? 물론 인간의 생각에 한 성령의 인도로 쓰셨습니다. Of course, it was not of the thoughts of man; it was by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 자주 마음을 읽으면 마가를 한 만나고 싶고. When I read the book of Mark, I often want to meet Mark. 특히 마가복음 속에 하나님 깊은 뜻이나 그 마음의 세계를 보면 너무 놀라운 거예요. And especially in the Gospel of Mark, when I read about the heart and the will of God, it's so amazing. 이 우리가 마가복음 네 번째 시간입니다. This is our fourth session for the Gospel of Mark. 오늘 읽어본 일장 십절을 보면은. In today, in chapter one, verse ten. 아, 일장 구절에. In chapter one, verse nine. 그때 예수 갈릴리 나사렛에서부터 와서 요단강에서 요한에게 세례를 받으시고. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. 곧 물에서 올라오실 때 하늘이 갈라지고 성의 비둘같이. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. 하늘 소리가 나게 있는 내 사랑한 아들에 내가 너를 기뻐하노라 하시니라. And there came a voice from heaven saying, "Thou art my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased." 예수님께서 세례를 받으셨습니다. Jesus got baptized. 어 예수님은 이제 그 세례 요한에게 세례를 받으셨는데. And Jesus received the baptism from John the Baptist. 예수 세례 요한의 세례를 받으신 이유가 뭔가요? What's the reason that Jesus received the baptism from John the Baptist? 어, 요한은 요단강에서 세례를 베풀면서 As John the Baptist gave baptism at River Jordan, 모인 무리들에게 회개를 요구했어요. To the multitudes he told them to repent. 회개하라, 천국이 가까웠네. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. 누가 너희를 가리 임박한 진노를 피하라 하더냐? No, who told you that you may hide from the wrath that is near? 복사의 새끼더라 그러면서 아주 막 강력하게. You brood of vipers, and he spoke out very strong. 사람들이 세례 요한에게 나와서 죄를 자백하고 회개의 세례를 베풀었습니다. People came to John, and they would confess their sins, and they received the baptism of repentance. 그런데 예수 예수님이 죄를 지으신 적도 없고. But Jesus, He's never sinned. He's God. Why did Jesus have to get baptized? And I became curious about that. Why did Jesus have to be baptized? And when Jesus first came to John and said, told him to baptize me, John also didn't know what to do. Surely he's the son of God. How could I be baptized you? And you, I should be baptized of thee. Comest thou to me? John refused him. But what did Jesus say to him? Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Ah, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. So how is all righteousness fulfilled through Jesus being baptized? 전에 자주 이런 얘기를 했습니다만. You know I've talked about this before. 예수 우리 죄를 사하실 때 어떻게 사하시는지. How does Jesus forgive our sins? 그 정확히 알고 싶었습니다. I wanted to know that precisely. 그래서 전에 얘기했지만은. So I've talked about this before. 성경을 읽다가 속죄 제사란 사실을 발견한. Through reading the Bible, I discovered the facts about the sin offering. 레위기 4장에. 이제 레위기에 보면 일장부터 뭐 소제 뭐 번제 뭐 이런 제사가 나오는데. So, uh, if you look in Leviticus from chapter one, it talks about the burnt offering, the meat offering, and on and on. 화목제. It's the burnt and the peace offering. 예, 그런 제사가 있는데. They have such offerings. 근데 여기 사장에 딱 보면 속제 제사가. And then in chapter four, it talks about the sin offering. When you commit a sin, how you can get that sin forgiven? That's what that offering is about. 아 제가 속죄 제사를 마음이 막 솔깃했어요. And so I was very drawn to it, the sin offering. 내가 제가 막 제사 한 번도 기리 얘기구나. I have so many sins, so this is how my sins could be forgiven. 그런데 속죄 제사 오늘 레위기 사장에 네 가지 속죄 제사가 나와요. In Leviticus four, it talks about the sin offering. There is four kinds of sin offering. 제사장이 죄를 범했을 때. First is when a priest has sinned. 이스라엘 온 해중이 죄를 범했어요. Second, when the whole Congregation of Israel has sinned. And then when a tribal ruler has sinned. And fourth, when a common person has sinned. And I looked into these things very closely. And I've talked about this. 
And when you give the offering, first thing is that that person has to realize his sin. 하장 27절에 보면은 In Leviticus 4:27. 만일에 평민의 하나가 여호와의 금명 중 하나를 부지중 범하여 허물이 있다. And if any one of the common people sin through ignorance while he doeth somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which ought not to be done and be guilty. 그 범한 죄의 깨우침을 받거든. Or if his sin which he had sinned come to his knowledge. 그는 허물은 암염소를 끌고 와서 then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish. 자, the wages of sin is death. 피를, 그 it is by that blood our sins are forgiven. And therefore, through Jesus being crucified, our sins are forgiven. 그 and the lamb represents Jesus Christ. 평민이 자기 죄를 범하면 in Leviticus 4:27 if a common person sins 범한 죄 깨우침을 받으면 and when the sin he has sinned come to his knowledge 허물은 암염소를 끌고 와서 he shall bring his offering a kid of the goats a female without blemish 범한 죄를 그걸 예물로 삼아 for his sin which he had sinned 29절에 한 마디가 나오는데 and then in verse 29 it tells us something 그 속죄제 희생의 머리 안수하고 and he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering. That's what it talks about here. Here I stopped. You do the laying on of hands for a pastor ordination and laying on of hands when you do elder ordination. Are they making a lamb into an elder or a pastor? Why are they doing the laying on of hands? 양에게 안선 그분 도저히 이해가 안 가는. So the priest did the laying on of hands upon the lamb, and I could not understand this. 전에 얘기했지만 성경은 짝이 있다고 돼 있어. Like I mentioned before, the scriptures have their mates. 남자가 여자 하나 짝이 돼서 아이를 낳고 이렇게 가정을 이룬 것처럼. Like a man and a woman, they become mates, and then they have a child and form a family. 성경 하나가 잘 이해가 안갈 때. When you see one part of the Bible and you don't understand it. 그 짝을 딱 맞춰 보면 정확히 아는데. When you find a scripture that is the mate, then you understand it clearly. And so in the offering, why do they do the laying on of hands upon the head of the lamb? I could not find the answer to this. And I had to find that mate to that scripture. Are they ordaining the pastor into a, the lamb into a pastor and elder? Why do they do the laying on of hands? They do laying of hands for pastor and elder ordinations. So I continued to read the Bible. I read though all of Old and New Testament one time through, I still couldn't find the answer. Even though I was reading it, I just passed it by. I read it twice. And when I read the Bible third time through, I found out something amazing. It was in Leviticus. It was in chapter 16, verse 21. It tells us the reason for the laying on of hands. In chapter 4, verse 29, it just tells you to do the laying on of hands. But Leviticus 16:21 became connected with the verse in Leviticus 4 to become mates and to become one. 그래, 히브리 4장 27절에는 in Leviticus chapter 4 verse 27 안수하는 이야기가 나오지만 it does talk about the laying on of hands. 28, 29절에 나오지. 근데 왜 안수하는지 이유가 안 나와. In verses 28 and 29, but it does not tell us the reason for the laying on of hands. 그 짝이 레위기 16장 21절에 나오는데. But the mate to those scriptures was in Leviticus 16 verse 28. 21. It gives us the reason for why they do the laying on of hands. When you read only one side of the Bible, you cannot understand it. But all the scriptures have their mates. Once you find the mates and they come together, you can see clearly the real thing. And here it tells us the reason for the laying on of hands. And Aaron shall lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat. And confess over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all their transgressions and all their sins. And 
and by placing all of those sins upon the lamb. That's why he heard it says, putting them upon the head of the goat. Yeah. 그래서 이제 그 염소의 머리로 죄를 옮기는 그걸 가리켜 말하는. So this is talking about placing the sins upon the head of the goat. 그럼 예수님이 하나님의 어린 양으로 오셨습니까? Jesus came as the Lamb of God. 우리 죄를 이어받기 위해서. For him to receive our sins. 그 속죄 제사 양이나 염소들 그양 드리면 제사가 안 되는 거예요. If they just simply give lambs and goats as sin offerings, it's not going to work. 제사는 안수를 해야 합니다. The priest must do the laying on of hands. 되면, and when you do the laying on of hands, 그그 through the laying on of hands, the sin is placed upon the head of the goat or the lamb. Therefore, for Jesus to forgive our sins, he needs to receive the laying on of hands to receive the sin. And when John the Baptist gave baptism to Jesus, that's when that laying out of hands was done. John the Baptist, he preached to the many multitudes at the river. Who told you to hide from the wrath which is near? Saying that, he was preaching to them. And this was to place the sins upon Jesus. Jesus came to John and said, John, baptize me. And John was shocked. I need to be baptized of thee and comest thou to me? You know, I've sinned. You have not sinned, Jesus. But Jesus tells him, Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. 그때, 아, 모든 의의를 이룬다는 것은 Right then, ah, to fulfill all righteousness is to forgive all our sins. 아, 안수를 우리 제가 예수님께 넘어가고 Ah, through the laying on of hands, our sins are laid upon Jesus. 그 다음에 이제 예수님이 십자에 못 박히고 우리 죄를 산다. And afterwards, Jesus gets crucified and forgives all our sins. 그 이야기가 되는 거죠. That's how this is goes. 그 so John allowed it. And John did the laying on of hands upon the head of Jesus. That laying on of hands was not for the forgiveness of sins. But just like the Old Testament, it is to lay all the sins upon Jesus. After receiving the laying on of hands, the Holy Spirit came down like a dove, and God was pleased. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Because Jesus came to die on the cross for our sins. Our sins were laid on Him, and for Him to die, that's why Jesus had to be crucified on the cross. But the process of all of our sins being laid upon him is through that laying on of hands. That's why God spoke through the Holy Spirit saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. To receive all of our sins, Jesus received the baptism from John the Baptist. And then in John chapter 1, Verse 29, it says this. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. All of our sins have been placed upon Jesus. Let's look at the next verse, John chapter 1, verse 30. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh the man which is preferred before me, for he was before me. That was what John testified. And he said, Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. There is no reason for Jesus to be baptized by John. Because John 
In the Old Testament, before the lamb is killed for the sin offering, they do the laying of hands upon the lamb and then kill it for the sin offering. When Jesus was being crucified, when he was being baptized, Jesus said to him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. So Jesus needed to make our righteousness because we're sinners. We have to accept the righteousness of Jesus. And so our sins have to be forgiven for us to become righteous. And as he was crucified for our sins, he made us holy, he made us clean. So here it talks about Jesus receiving the baptism. Jesus does not receive the baptism to repent of sins. He is the Holy Son of God. But the process of our sins being upon play, being placed upon Jesus was through receiving the baptism from John the Baptist. If you only see one side of the Bible, this is hard to understand. But the 66 books of the Bible are all connected as one. And when the scriptures, when you find the mates to one another, we can clearly see our sins have been placed upon Jesus. And then in John chapter 1, verse 29. John says to Jesus, Behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Here it just looks like that Jesus is getting baptized. But that baptism is not just baptism. It becomes the offering to place all of our sins upon Jesus. And that's how he was able to wash away our sins forever. If the offering of Jesus was given on this earth, you know, for each sin, the offering would have to be given often times. But through the offering being given at the temple in heaven, it's telling us that our sins have been redeemed forever. And we believe in that fact. Brother, and Brother Shim Hong Sup got to believe in this fact. And the amazing thing of Brother Shim Hong Sup was there is the man with the infirmity for 38 years. He was lying down. Jesus came and he said, Will thou be made whole? Lord, when the water is troubled, there is no man to put me into the pool. And as I try to go in, another steps in before me. And Jesus said to him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. This person cannot take up his bed and walk. But when Jesus said, Rise, take up your bed and walk, his heart and Jesus' heart fought. I can't walk. No, I can walk. I can't walk. I tried, I fell. No, I can't. My legs are withered. But Jesus says, <coughs> if Jesus says so, I can walk. That's how the whole world is. When Jesus went to the house of Jairus, Jairus' daughter was dead. And the people were sad and weeping. Jesus said, stop crying. Weep not, the girl is not dead, but sleeping. Surely she is dead. You're telling us to... You're telling us she's, cry... she's dead? You don't think we can tell the difference? If she's dead, if you're asleep, you can breathe. You have a pulse. And the body is warm. But she's not breathing. She has no pulse. And the body is cold. She's dead. But Jesus says she's sleeping. But soon after, the girl woke up. She was sleeping. In the same way, rise, take up your bed and walk. And when those words came to the heart of the man with the infirmity for 38 years, 
막 생각 딱 튀어나와요. And immediately the thoughts came up of the man with the infirmity. I can't walk. How can I walk? I can't walk. My legs are withered. I tried. I fell. I tried. I failed. That's right. That's what happened. But the words of Jesus defeated his thoughts. I know I cannot walk. But it's the Lord's words. And the sick man wanted to get up and walk. Amazingly, he was able to walk. How amazing this is. The words of Jesus. In his word. Within his words is the power to fulfill those words. Included in his word is the power to fulfill his word. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. So you have to make a decision. Will I believe my thoughts? Or will I believe Jesus? Jesus tells me to walk. I say I can't walk. And that's where there's the conflict. But our hearts, I'm wrong. Jesus is right. That's how it should be. When that happens, we can accept the words of Jesus. The words of Jesus are right. If Jesus says I'm washed, I'm washed. If Jesus says I'm holy, I'm holy. In my eyes, I committed so many sins. I've told lies. I committed theft. But the Bible says I'm righteous. In Romans 3, 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But in verse 24. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Whose words are these? The word of God. I'm a sinner. But God says I'm righteous. Am I right or is God right? I am not holy. I'm a drunk. But God says I'm perfect. Are my words right or is God's words right? Throwing away my words. And when you accept the word of God. The amazing works of the words of God begin to happen. The man with the infirmity for 38 years, he knows he cannot walk. In my thoughts, I cannot walk. But if Jesus says, I can walk, I can walk. So he got up to walk, he was able to walk. This is the power of the word of Jesus. And that day as well, one day as I read the Bible, before I was a sinner, I was a dirty sinner. I told many lies. I committed theft. I was a filthy sinner. But what did Jesus say? You are justified. You are holy. Yes, that's right. My words are not right. The words of Jesus are right. In my eyes, I'm a dirty sinner. But Jesus, if you say I'm righteous, I am righteous. If you say I'm holy, I am holy, Jesus. When you accept it like that, uh, he too, I too was able to say I am righteous. From then on, the righteous life began to appear in my life. At times I do make mistakes and at times I do commit sins. But because Jesus has forgiven my sins forever, it was not a problem. Ah, oh, my sins have been washed. I was able to accept that truth. And on the surface, we cannot see this in the Bible. But when you see closely, you think Our sins are not forgiven by us doing something. But we can know that through the cross of Jesus, our sins have been washed as white as snow. Now, do you know what I say in my heart? I lied, committed theft, I committed sins. That's right, I'm a sinner. But what does the word of God say to my heart? You are justified. You are sanctified. You are cleansed. The man with the infirmity for 38 years. 
들어가라고 하셨을 때 When Jesus told them rise take up that bed and walk 자기 못 끝나고 자기 생각을 믿었으면 If he believed his own thoughts thinking that he could not walk 못 끊었어요 He could not walk then. 그렇지만, Even though I can't walk. 예수 그러면 그럴 수가 있어. If Jesus tells me to walk, I can walk. 자기 생각보다 예수의 말씀 이겼습니다. The thought, the words of Jesus prevailed over his thoughts. 자 여러분의 마음에 예수님 주인이 되려면 for Jesus to become the Lord of your heart. 예수님 말씀과 여러분 생각 이겨야 합니다. The words of Jesus must defeat your thoughts. 난 죄를 지었으니까. Because I committed sin. 죄인이 맞아. That's right, I'm a sinner. 난 죄인이야. Surely I'm a sinner. 이렇게 말. That's what people say. But as we believe Jesus, I am a sinner, but but if Jesus says I'm righteous, I am righteous. If he says I am holy, I'm holy. If he says my sins are washed, I am washed. God's the judge. If the judge declares you are righteous, boom, boom, boom. Then, no matter what sinner you are, in front of that judge, you are righteous. The important thing is, this is not the word of the president. This is not the word of the secretary of justice. This is not the word of the judge. But Jesus, he told me, I am righteous. He told me that I have been justified. That's what's amazing. And the Gospel of Matthew tells these truths to us precisely. In the scriptures, when you find the mates one with another, then you see the will. You cannot see just one side of the Bible and say that you know the Bible. But as you make connections throughout and read it all together, and then accept the Word of God, that's when the amazing works happen inside of us. Many decades have passed in Jesus for me. After I believed this, my life became bright and holy. And I saw the precious glory of God appearing in my life. When I think about it, how thankful I am, I cannot say it in words. Jesus came and through being crucified, it's been 2,000 years. And I did not see that happen with my own eyes. But he died. And he carried all my sins and received the punishment for sins that I was supposed to receive. Therefore, I say I am holy. I say I am righteous. I say I am clean. Because the Lord has washed me clean. And when I accepted those words, I became righteous. And the word of God saying you are justified became fulfilled. And I am able to live blessedly, gloriously within the grace of God. The Gospel of Mark is wonderful. And I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Everyone, please take care.